Good morning, and welcome to your daily Farm and Home Show, brought to you by the University of Kentucky Cooperative Extension Service. And now, here's your host. Good morning, and welcome to your Farm and Home Show. My name is Joanna Coles, and this morning we're visiting with Camille Lambert. She's the Henderson County Extension Agent for Agriculture and Natural Resources. Good morning, Camille. Good morning. Well, I'm glad you're here today. Spring is sure. definitely here. We already have some corn planted in Warren County, but... It's wild, isn't it? It is. The, the university has some recommendations about Absolutely. proper planting time. Sure. So they actually, um, the University of Kentucky just came out with this Soybean Management in Kentucky Guide. It's brand new this year. And it has tons of research-based information that you can use to make really good decisions when it comes to planting. So the first thing that I always like to discuss when I talk about planting with people is the soil temperature, because that is one of the most important things, yes. aside from it being too wet, which we a lot of times will have this time of year. So do you know what this thing is? A thermometer. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I carry this thing around in my pocket daily this time of year because it's essential that you check the temperature whenever you are making the decision is it time for me to plant yet and the temperature can vary you know from Warren County mm -hmm. to Henderson County where I'm at so you always want to make sure that you are checking your temperature I always tell people a really good gauge is about 7 a.m. because by lunchtime it's gonna warm up so you kinda wanna see what the colder the coldest temperature is and it usually around that time is pretty chilly. So when you stick this in, it's pretty important to get it at the right depth. So what depth do you think we're gonna put it in? It should be an indicator on your thermometer, right? So this one is just a little cheapo one, but you wanna stick it in to about your planting depth. Mm -hmm. So for soybeans, we're gonna go one and a half to two inches. So if you stick this in, you can see about how far to go with it. So I always just kinda Kind of gauge it there. Yeah, gauge it there and then stick it in. Now, you have to wait. You can't just be like, oh, yep, it's 80 degrees. You have to let it kind of acclimate. So what I will usually do is stick it in, do something else, and come back in about 10 minutes and double check it. So for soybeans, we want about 55 degrees. Okay. Um, for corn, we can go with 50. And you want to look at your forecast for the upcoming week to see is it going to drop down really cold because a lot of times, the, when you plant, and I brought this really cool thingy. diagram here. Yes. yes. So this is your seed, what it looks like mm -hmm. when you're actually planting. Now it will swell. Even if it is cold out, it will swell. But from there, if the temperature is too cold, it will not sprout. It will not shoot that little root down and it will not come out. So it can swell and then it will just rot if it's too cold. So that's why it's very important to make sure your temperature is warm enough so that you don't have to replant and you don't have rotted seed in the ground. Right, and you know, you the university has specific dates on uh, over so many years yes. of research what the optimum date is, but Kentucky weather doesn't always play along with our <laughs> dates. Plays along. Are you kidding me? <laughs> and so this is why this is so important, so yes. that you can tell. I mean, you know, some years we've still had snow on the ground, yeah. and um, or we get a snow. You know, mm -hmm. it, it could warm up for several days and then it drop back down. So they also have in this book, which I think is really cool, your probability of frost. Mm -hmm. So Henderson is listed on here, which is where I'm at. So 90% on April the 5th, there's still a 90% chance that it's going to frost. Mm -hmm. okay. And 90%, I mean, that's not like, you know, that's a pretty high percentage. It's a pretty high percentage. But by April 20th, we're down to 50%. And by the 1st of May, we're down to 10. Yeah. But you know, it's like when the sun pops out. Oh, after we get so, yeah, you know, after the something. winter. Um, and this is the thing, sometimes we, we bypass the frost and the freezes. Yes, we do. And it turns out fine. Yes. And, but sometimes, more often than not, we're bit by some of that. Yeah, and I will tell you this, Joanna, what I've seen, I do a lot of yield contest stuff and um, scouting, and more often than not, the earlier planted does better. But mm -hmm. you don't wanna go too early, so. You, you get out there when you can, um, but the really good thing to look at is your soil temperature. So get out there early. You're never gonna have ideal conditions. I have guys that are like waiting and waiting and waiting and they wanna wait till the perfect time and there's never a perfect time, so. Yeah, and you know, it's been really wet this winter and you know, we've been out of the field for so long. So compaction, those type of things are always concerns when we're Absolutely. talking about planting. And so all those things probably need to take into consideration yes. before. Yes, yes. 
And I guess the last thing I'll mention is planting populations. You can actually plant a whole lot less and save yourself some money because times are tight. That's right. So Camille, appreciate the information. If you have questions about planning, make sure to contact your local Extension office. Thanks for watching and have a great day. If you have questions about today's topic, please call the Warren County Extension office at the number on your screen. Thanks for watching and have a great day.